Hello gang, it's Thursday the 17th of March 2016. Well, here's something new. Now, I sat there downstairs and I thought, oh, I better do my recorded show for today. Um, and I'm just about to come up here and do it. You know, I've got all my bits and pieces written down, things to show you. Are you wondering what these are? You're wondering what those are. You've got those things to show you there. And something in the magazine. And then I, w I was sitting here getting ready. And I thought, how about doing the recorded show live? If you see what I mean. So here we are. Live today, boys and girls. And you can call in as well. There's, there is a phone-in number if you want to call in. I'm not going to be here for, for hours on end today, though. Uh, we're just to maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, OK? So if you want to call in, you can do. It's 020 8144 3477. Okay, 020 see, Sean is already with us this afternoon. Hello, Sean. Nice to see you, dear. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Yes, it is. A wonderful night at the quiz last night. Um, oh, no. Let me, can I just do a birthday first? Want to do a birthday first? It is. Mark Hudson's birthday today. Who's You're wondering who Mark Hudson is, aren't you? I used to work with him at a place called Belushi's in Hammersmith a couple of years ago. Hello, Vectis. Okay, we're, we're doing the recorded show live today, just to see how it goes. Hello, Ash. Ash is there as well. Anyway, so uh, Mark and I used to work together at a place called Belushi's in Hammersmith. He's 28 now. I think it was about 25 then. He, he was. I don't know if he's still doing it, but he was playing um, guitar. In is uh, in 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 a band as well. So if you're with us today, I know you're not. You're not probably. This isn't your thing. Your your my little strange odd shows. But I'd like to wish you happy birthday. So Mark, sing along, everyone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my very good friend, Mark, who I haven't seen for a number of years now. As I say, we used to work with each other at uh, Hammersmith Belushi's, which was a one. We had a wonderful time there. We had the dream team. First of all, led by uh, Robbie. I think Robbie was before you, Mark. And then led by led by the the wonderful Victoria Pearson, who we love very much. So happy birthday to you, Mark. Okay, uh, a fantastic quiz last night. I do a quiz night every uh, Wednesday night at the King's Head Theatre Bar in Islington. Twelve teams last night, which which is good. Twelve is good. Ten is sort of ten is normal, and um, twelve is pretty good. Fantastic. So very good last night, and a wonderful atmosphere. You know, sometimes you get a night where everything just ticks over so well, and people are there, and they join in. You know, sometimes it always. There's, there's like a white flashing. Can you see that white flashing there? Where's that coming from? Can you see that white? White fl oh, Did we get disconnected then? There's a, there's a white flashing going on. Can anyone see that? Ash says, I feel like I'm actually floating in the air with Chris's singing. Do you like my singing? Thank you. I don't know. Can anyone see that white flashing or is it just me? Speak or forever hold thy tongue. There's a definite... Oh, it stopped now. It stopped. It was pulsing. There was, a, there was a white flashing pulsing. Hello, Wayne. Did you see it? The flashing white pulsing. I thought there was a ghost had entered the room. Oh. Oh, it's freezing a lot. Well, that's strange. We are on the Wi-Fi. We are on Wi-Fi. I do apologise about the freezing. Do try and stay with us, though. Is it all right now? Has it sorted itself out now? Or shall I abandon this idea altogether? We must carry on. We must carry on. Good afternoon, Paul. Um, so the 12 teams last night, lovely people. And uh, we got to a point where... Oh, it's, is it freezing for everyone? Shall we abandon this idea? Is this not working today? Or is it settled down? That is the question. Good afternoon, Paul. Do let me know. Is it still is it still freezing? If so, I'll disappear and do my usual recorded show. Or do you think we should try and carry on like mummy's brave little soldiers? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, so it all worked very well last night. And it came to a part of the... Um, 
uh, quiz where I, I gave them uh, a choice, a choice of rounds. Did they want a, an Irish-themed round? Because, of course, today is St. Patrick's Day. How glorious St. Patrick, dear Saint of our all. Do you know that hymn? Would you like a bit of it? I might be able to find that on YouTube. One moment, please. We are now trying to connect your call. Please hold the line. Is it working now? OK, maybe it was just, uh, just the beginning having a little bit of a... Little bit of a little bit of a house. Uh, let me know if it starts again, okay? How glorious! Oh, there it is. How glorious, Saint Patrick! Oh, this is a wonderful song. This is you'll love this. We are. We're not live on YouTube. No, we're not live on YouTube. Um, oh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll notice the sides are missing. That's because on Facebook Live they don't have sides. Just a little bit in the middle. Now, where is it? How, how glorious! It could be. Is that the one? That could. This is it. I think this is it. Hang on a minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Here comes the chorus, the chorus is coming. Look down in thy love On Erin's green valleys On Erin's green valleys On Erin's green, green valleys Look down in thy love Oh, we like that. How glorious St. Patrick. Top of the morning to all our Irish friends all over the world. I've always felt very, very close to the Irish. Probably because my nan was Irish. She was a Ryan. Nothing to do with Ryanair. Thank God for that, dear. Ryanair. Anyway, uh, back to the um, uh, quiz last night. So I gave them a choice of doing the usual theatre round, because we have a theatre round every week. That's all about theatre type things, you know, musicals, that sort of thing. Or they can choose, they could have chosen to have a um, uh, 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 St. Patrick's round, uh, an Irish round. And it, did, and it was about 50-50, so we had to toss. Pardon? No, a coin, dear, a coin. We had to toss a coin in the air and it kept, fell down on the towels, which meant we had the theatre round instead. Um, the only thing was I had forgotten, forgotten to print off the theatre round, but it was on my mobile phone. So I did a round from my mobile phone. I just got it. I, I mean, you, this is probably, you know, second, uh, second, um, second, uh, what's that called? Second, oh God, second avenue? No, second... So I don't know. This, uh, let, 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 let's change that. Let, this is probably quite normal to you to read something out direct from a mobile phone or indeed an iPad. Well, I don't do that. Uh, I've always printed off the questions. So we got me bits of paper. But, you know, I read this from the mobile phone and it was wonderful. You know, the mobile phone is nice and bright. Often uh, I have slightly failing eyesight and I, sometimes I have to shine a torch on my bits of paper because it's very dark in there. I don't know why. Places turn the bloody lights down when you're trying to do a quiz. <laughs> I mean, I'd give them the 50 pence for the meter. I really would. But anyway, so uh, I'm walking around with this little iPhone. And I thought, do you know, that's a damn good thing. So uh, second nature. Thank you, Wayne. So I'm now seriously considering purchasing an iPad mini. I don't think I want a large one. Uh, that's quite big. Big thing to carry around. So I'm now seriously considering purchasing an iPhone mini. How ex... No, not an, uh, an iPad mini. Has anyone got one of those? Oh, I just... Uh, let me just do a couple of messages. Paul says, don't sing. I will get depressed. I'm going to sing again in a minute, Paul. I might sing. A I might do the whole thing singing, actually, Paul. Excuse me. Thank you very much. If you don't mind me saying so, our karaoke nights are very, very popular. Very popular here on Facebook Live. One... A lot of people are on Facebook Live. I'm on Facebook Live 1. Thank you very much. Yes. So we do do quite a lot of karaoke nights. Now, you remember, <clears throat> regular viewers to the show will know that I'm going to try out... Um, actually, I'm trying it now. I'm trying out uh, the 3 Network to do some of the live shows. Now, I'm actually not going through 3 now because I'm on my own home... Sorry, studio. <laughs> studio Wi-Fi. This is a purpose. But don't let anyone th tell you this is a spare bedroom. OK, this is a purpose built television studio. Hello, Dawn. 
Nice to see you, darling. All right. You coming down this Sunday? There's lovely dawn. OK, we're all live today. It's very actually this is working. I'm quite pleased with this. I'm quite pleased doing this live. Um, hello, Mary. <clears throat> There's lovely Mary. How's your husband, darling? Is this is his back still uh, in, in a lot of pain or what, darling? She, she does. He has a lot of pain in his back. Simply bending down something a, a, a number of months ago now, and it's put his back out, hasn't it? Anyway, so we're we're trying. Uh, I was trying to unlock my phone. Well, that's been done now, and I have inserted, boys and girls. I've pushed it in. I have pushed in to my mobile phone the little three SIM. It's a tiny little thing. I took out the EE one, put in the three one, and it all seems to be working. So uh, the next few karaoke's. We'll, uh, we will try and do them all over the 3, 4G network and we'll see how that comes out. Ah, okay. oh, Ray Reynolds, my good, good friend, Ray Reynolds. How are you, Ray? There we are. We were just chatting on the phone earlier on. So we will be doing that. So the three, I've unlocked the phone. The three SIM is in there. I'm going to be using that for the next couple of weeks. Every single karaoke night will be on Facebook Live 1. Facebook Live 1, OK? And we'll see how that goes. It might, I, I have no idea, it should be as good as when I was using the EE 4G. But I don't know until I try it, okay? The other things, you know, it's got to work with the phone and everything as well. Otherwise, it's no good to me. So I'm going to use this SIM. The only thing is, what I did was get a temporary number from 3. So now, no one's got my phone, no one's got my mobile number except my sister and my, and, and Ronnie and my niece, who um who 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 I've rung since so that might be a bit of an issue but um I've got to try it out um and if it works and the reason I'm trying the three is because they give you unlimited data the most I could get from EE was 16 gig which to you may sound like a lot probably is to you you wouldn't you'd never use 16 gig but if you're chucking out a lot of video you're going to get through a lot of gig all right so that's why I've tried it now let's go back and do some of these uh, uh little messages say hello to a few people uh Sean says love hearing you singing We'll be doing that at Mum's funeral. Is it Mum's funeral tomorrow? Oh, bless her. Bless her. I'll say a prayer for her tonight, my darling. It'll be very hard for you, I know, Sean. Uh, as a matter of interest, what, what hymns are you doing? Are you doing How Glorious St. Patrick? Are you doing that one, darling? Um, so so let us know, all right, darling? OK. Um, Sean says, also, the mini mini iPad will be perfect for the quiz. Yeah, I think so. The, the, the reason I like it is not to look modern. It doesn't bother me. You know, I haven't got to keep up with the bloody Joneses. Just because he's got an iPad, I don't have to have one. In fact, I've put it up to now. But now that I used my iPhone last night to read out a round of questions, the fact that it's lit from the back was really useful. And I didn't need my glasses on which is fantastic, you know? So I, I may well get one of those mini iPads. Um, hello to Wayne. Hello, Wayne Crombie and Dawn. Lovely to see Dawn. Who's coming there with... Oh, is she coming with Maxine? You coming along with Maxine on Sunday? Lovely. Uh, Dawn and Maxine, they come to the karaoke, uh, which we do every Sunday night. That one's at the Golden Lion in uh, Sydenham. Is it Sydenham High Street? OK, that's in South East London. That's every Sunday, 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. A nice busy night as well that's turned into. that. That's really done well since since halfway through December. It's suddenly picked up and it's doing really well there. So thank you. Um, Mary's husband's going into hospital tomorrow. Injections in the discs. Oof. Oh, I wish him luck with that. I really do. It's, it's not a nice thing to have. Hello to Joe. Hello to Paul. Um, Paul's going to be there uh, tomorrow night. Hello, Paul. Nice to see you manage to complete your steps. Paul's, I think he's got an app or something, and he has to do so many steps, walking type thing. Uh, so well done, Paul, with that. Hello to Cordy. Nice to see you. Hello, Joey. You should try Gif Gaff. No, I've done it now. I'm, I'm trying three now, Joe. OK, I'm trying, trying three now. And Sean says, uh, we've got no hymns as there's no time. We'll be tons of music in the service. Oh, no hymns. OK, yeah, well, whatever suits you. So what songs have you got, Sean? Do let us know, darling. What songs have you got? Um, Let's have a look. I'm sitting here full of apple pie. I've made apple pies with my leftover pastry and apple crumbles today. But ladies, good evening. Ah, uh, Robert Icelander with us. Robert's in Iceland. Hello, Robert. Nice to see you, sir. Your pictures of all the uh, snow. And I was looking at your thing the other day. I did put a comment there, um, uh, uh, Robert. All that snow in Iceland. Rather you than us, my friend. Oh, I don't like the cold. Now, what was I saying then? 
Uh, oh, yes, apple pies. I've made apple pies and apple crumble. My mate's coming. I don't know if he's down there yet, actually. Uh, my best mate's coming around with his other half, uh, Andy, Ronnie and Andy. <clears throat> and I've made an extra apple crumble for them. I hope they like it. <laughs> the only thing with the apple pies, and ladies, perhaps you can help me with this. Um, <clears throat> sometimes when you buy them, for, I don't like the Mr. Kipling ones. It's just like an apple mush. You know? I don't know what that is they put under there, but it's not very nice. Um, hello, Andy Webb. There's Andy now. Look, he's there. We we're just talking about you. There's an apple crumble downstairs waiting for you. The thing is, when I do the apple pies and the apple crumbles, um, the uh, if I buy one in the shop, sometimes you can get them and the apple is still in slices, right? Now, when I'm making the apple crumble, I do indeed slice up the apples, right? I don't know, about half a centimetre thick or something like that. And I arrange it in the bottom all next to each other. Then I put another layer on. Then I put another layer on. So I've got three layers of apples because they all sink right down. And then I put either the pastry or the crumble on the top, right? So I put it in the oven, I don't know, about 30 minutes or something like that. Now, when I take it out, I take it out when the top is starting to brown. But when I then spoon it out of the tray or, you know, want to use one of those um, cake slice things. When I spoon it out of the, not the tray, the, um, the, uh, the glass dish thing. When I spoon it out, all the apple has become mush. And there, there is only apple and a little bit of sugar in there as well. Not much. You know, you, all you've got to do is sprinkle a bit over the top before you put the pastry on. Now, the thing is, why does that apple turn to mush? I'd, I'd much rather it remained kind of slices. Am I just cooking it too much? Is it just that it's in the oven a bit too long? The only thing is, if I don't put it in the oven that long, then it won't go brown. So I, 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 what, what's the answer to that? Lady? One of the ladies, I know that one. Or Vectis, he must do a lot of cooking. Do you do a lot of cooking, Vectis? I bet you do, don't you? Another half a pig in the blooming oven, isn't it? Let's just go back to the um, uh, some of your messages there. Sean says, oh, they've got the entrance music, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones by Aqua, okay. Now we are free by Lisa Gerrard and salt water by Chicane. Uh, the reading is the best and the Lord's Prayer. Okay, I, I don't know, I don't know the song, Now We Are Free and Salt Water. I don't know those two, but uh, I'm obviously a mum's favourite, so, so that's good. Well, good luck with that, Sean, and a trance piece. OK, well, good luck with that, Sean, tomorrow, my darling. And uh, our heart's with you, baby. He lost his mum a little while ago, didn't you, darling? Um, hello to Paul Knight. Try thicker slices. What, of apple? Well, they're already half a... OK, well, how thick? A centimetre? I see what you're saying there. I think I'm cooking it too much, but as I say, um, they are proper cooking apples, Charlotte. They're, you know, the big green ones... Big, uh, well, what are they call cooking apples. They're called cooking apples. I'm sure they are, darling. All right, so I'm not sure. Anyone else got any advice on that? Then let us know while you're watching this live show or just put a message underneath if you're watching the recording of it, okay? Gladiator. What's Gladiator? Is that a film? Is that a film, Sean, that Gladiator? Now, um, we were doing a little series of diet myths. When, oh, no, first of all, we might not get to that. Oh, it's an email. An email. Hang on. An email has flooded in, boys and girls. Uh, this is from Chris Lotz, who's in the US of A, regular correspondent to this programme. By the way, you can call in if you want, but you'll have to be quick. How are we doing? 20 minutes. You've got about 10 minutes to call in if you want to. 020-8144-3477. If you fancy a little bit of a chin wag on the phone, OK? 020-8144-3477. Or you can just sit there and listen. I don't mind. I don't mind. Hello, Alan. All right. There he is, Alan. And Chris, Chris Lotz writes in. The pillow Ronnie's got for you. Did you see the pillow Ronnie bought me? Let me show you. Just a minute. It's a cushion, not a pillow. One minute, one minute. Here it is. Here it is. Yes, look. Look at that. Aren't they nice? He bought me two of those. And one of those long things to go against the door. But I'm not quite sure what to do with one of those. Um, uh, and uh, uh, Chris, Chris writes, uh, the pillow Ronnie, Ronnie got first got you. First, they are fantastic. Secondly, I think you should put one down on your mirror ball studio's chair and sit on it. It will give you the appearance of being taller. And between you and me, a few extra inches is always a good thing for you shorter people. 
I beg your pardon? What do you mean? A few extra inches is good for us shorter people. I, mean, I am a midget, boys. And if I, if, I, see, if I sit on one of these pillows, watch. <clears throat> oh, it has raised me. Oh, that's quite cushy. That's quite nice. Oh, it's all soft on my bum. That's lovely, that is. <laughs> P.S. The air is much cleaner up here for taller people. Do you know, I think you're right. The air does seem to be a little little clearer up here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Quiz, for the uh, kind emails. You can always send in a bit of a long email if you want to, boys and girls. Maybe you're sitting there uh, late at night or something like that. You want to tap away, make a few comments and send it in. That's all right with me. I'll read it out. Chris at United Kingdom Talk. Dot co dot uk all right chris at united kingdom talk dot co dot uk hello to my nephew gary who joins us this afternoon and carl carl he was a very young lad when he used to uh, come to heaven i used to be a heaven dj you know i was one of the uh, heaven djs yes heaven in london and carl used to be a, a young lad who came up there with uh, matt and, and carl uh, carl you know the other Carl, hairdresser Carl, do you know he's just ordered, a, I think it's a Mercedes, I can't remember, he's just ordered a beautiful Mercedes. Yeah, I had no idea he was doing so well. You remember him, don't you? you I think it was 18 when he used to be coming into heaven. Gosh, well, he's, he's like top hairdresser now and he's doing really, really well. And blooming good luck to him. I really, I love it. I love it when some uh, ex, no, that, that, that sounds wrong, that does, not ex-boy. Yeah, ex what some when an ex boy becomes a young man and is doing really well, and I see it, see them growing up. I love that, and that's happened to Carl. He's doing really well, Carl. Um, Charlotte says, powder them with a tiny bit of flour, soaking up the juices. Ah, will that stop them? Um, will that stop the apple kind of turning a little bit more mushy? It's not like mush as in horrible to eat it's not like that blooming mr kipling apple stuff they put in their piles i don't know what's in that god's sake but it's just a little bit you know not thick enough uh i don't need a mercedes vectis yeah well carl he's bought a top of the... do you know his um do you know his facebook carl let's let me just see if i can find it for you one second he's, he should be there he is carl Carl, so it's, it's Carl Gambrell, mobile hairdresser now, and he has ordered, oh, where's the blooming picture? Oh, he's got, he's honestly posts more than me. Jesus Christ, about 10, 200 posts since yesterday. I can't find it now. Where's the car? 15th, is it the 15th yesterday? It's hundreds of posts. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a Mercedes. Oh, look at that. Is it? It's a, a coupe. That's two doors. It looks like a sports car. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the model, if you know anything about car. It, oh, here we are. It's a... Would it be an S-Class Coupe? Anyone know that? Could be an S-Class Coupe. Beautiful car. If you're into cars, you'd want one of those. It, it doesn't, but a car to me is a way of getting from A to B. I really want an electric car. I think the Indians are bringing out a new electric car shortly, which is going to be 10 grand. It only does 80 miles, though, and it hasn't got a switch. You can't switch to petrol if you run out, so that's not that's not enough for me. I need an electric car that's going to do about 200 miles to a charge. Um, Mary says, try another variety of Apple. Granny Smith, stay firm. <laughs> Mary, you better stop it now. It is very annoying. When, you know, you need it to stay firm, don't you, Mary? Once it goes all fluffy, you can't do anything with them. Hello, Wendy. All right. Hello, Reese. There's young Reese as well. We're all being joined. That's lovely, that is. We've got six minutes left before we get cut off. I'm only here for half an hour. All right, darling. Vectis says, when are you going to get your Mercedes? Oh, yeah, I asked. I asked I've replied to that. No, I, I, I don't. Um, mind you, I say I don't like Mercedes. I'm looking at that car. Oh, it's stunning. Look it up. The S-Class Coupe. My friend Carl was going to get that. Good. I'm so pleased. Actually, if you're into cars, do you know Jaguar are doing a car, which is very, very affordable at the moment. I think you've got to put down about a grand and a half and it's on business lease. I'm not quite sure what that is, business lease. Could I get business lease? Could I get business lease? As a, as a self-employed person? I don't know. Oh, according to the budget, 
yesterday, self-employed people are not going to have to pay national insurance anymore. Did you see that? That's interesting, isn't it? No more. No. No more national insurance to pay for us self-employed. Yes. Thank you, Reese. I, I try to look my best, you know, trying to look my best here. Now, um, one, what well, we got about five minutes left. Just wanted to say a little bit about uh, um, uh, old Paul Daniels. Very, very um, sad, really. Paul Daniels um, has died today, if you remember. Uh, he was a, a great magician. And he also, also hosted a TV show called Every Second Counts. Don't know if you saw that. I've got the theme music here, and I'm going to play out with that in a bit. OK, Every Second Counts. But um, he was a great entertainer in the 70s and 80s. Used to watch his shows on the telly. Wonderful, wonderful magic shows. But he didn't just do the magic. He had a personality as well. You know, he made you laugh. I like people to make you laugh. That's what it's all about. Making people laugh and making people feel welcome. That's what it's all about. Sometimes you see a magician and, OK, a bit like a, a DJ or whatever, you know, and they go through the motions, but there's nothing else. I know a couple of um, entertainers that I work with who will remain nameless, boys and girls. And, and yes, indeed, they can sing. And they can tell jokes and they can tell a story. But there's something missing. Do you understand what I mean? Paul Daniels had it all. He really did, including a very, very beautiful young lady, didn't he? He got 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 together with his uh with his assistant, and he's gone as well now. He's gone as well. And really, and I've said this before on the show, since Scylla's death, it's been one after the other. Thank you, Wendy. Charisma. You've got to have a bit of charisma. If you're going to stand there and, oh, you know, look at me, I'm all beautiful. And that's about the be all and end all of it. Well, it doesn't do anything for me. We want something else. You don't have to be beautiful. There is, there is a, ooh. No, I'm not going to go there. Not going to go there. But there, there could be, there could be a very famous actor or singer or dancer or something that I like very much, who who isn't an oil painting, but this person has massive amounts of charisma, massive amounts, and we love him. We love him. The looks are neither here nor there. And if all you've got is looks, then at some point, you, I think you'll fail. Paul Daniels had the whole lot. He had the whole shebang, didn't he? He really did. But as I say, it started with Scylla, and we've had one after the other, Terry Wogan, band players, actors, uh, and, and they're all going one after the other. And I feel in the last six to nine months, a massive part of my childhood is being ripped away from me. All these people dying. You know, well, if they're not dying, they've, they've come out as paedophiles. <laughs> Rolf Harris, Jimmy Savile, Stuart Hall, it's a knockout. All people that we used to love on the telly. That's been ripped out of me, and I, I'm feeling um, almost like I've lost a lot of friends, really. You know? Either dead or or now in prison. And it's a massive show. I, I do feel it. I'm starting to get quite upset. When the news came on about Paul Daniels today, I was I was really quite upset by that. I thought, oh, God, another one. Another one of my childhood heroes. Gone. Awful. Awful. Vectis, you shut your mouth. Shut, I'm the one with a big... Look, have you seen my nose? It's massive. <laughs> Reese the Kardashians. I mean, what are the Kardashians? Now, I know a lot of people, they love them. They love it. They love the Kardashians. But what is there? I, I managed about 30 seconds of one of her shows. The Kardashian. What's, what, I don't even know her first name. What is, it? is it Kim? Is it Kim Kardashian? Who is her husband? Mr. Kardashian, I suppose. I managed about 10 minutes. No, no about two minutes of one of her shows. And I'm like, well, what, what is this? What is going on? All that money and all that fame, for what? There's no talent. Nothing. There's no talent. What is it that make people want to watch something like that? I mean, I'm, I must be doing something wrong here. Mustn't I? You know, for the handful of viewers that I have. <laughs> She's got thousands of people. They love them. They love her. What's it all about? <laughs> What's it all about? Alfie, Mary says uh, Frank Sinatra Jr. died today as well. Um, 
Okay, fair enough. I'm I'm not aware of of Frank Sinatra Jr. Well, obviously, he probably had a son, yes. But um, should should uh, should I know about that really? I don't know. I, I doesn't really. I don't think I've ever seen him sing, or presumably he sings and and does his dad stuff. Does he do some of his other stuff as well? Hello, Dino. All right, all right, boys and girls, we're going to leave it there. Now, interesting, interestingly, I'm at thirty minutes, and it hasn't told me that I'm going to be cut off here. That's strange. Thank you, Alan. Alan would like to see me on TV with my own show. I don't think they could afford me, Alan. My prices are too much. Now, we're only supposed to be able to do 30 minutes. Just, just a minute. Is it say? Does it say we've done 30 minutes? Let me just have a quick look. It does say we've done 30 minutes and it hasn't cut me off. That's interesting because we're when I'm when I've done this before, it only allows you to do 30 minutes and then you get this little thing flashing telling you you're about to finish. See you, Wendy. Love you, darling. Oh, yes, I'm going to the Royal Albert Hall on Saturday night for this classical thing, popular classics. I am so excited. We're going out to dinner first. Piccolillos, right? My mate's taking me out to dinner. It's his turn to pay. <laughs> Thank God for that because it's in Mayfair. Oh, dear. I can't wait to see when he gets a bill for that one. <laughs> Hello, sis. That's my that's my sister, Sharon Butler. I would like like you to be quiet. I have no picture. <laughs> well, you've got no picture there, sis. Are you watching on an Apple device? Is it not working for you? Try and uh, log off and log back on again. It might work then. Wendy's gone. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to pick a. I think it's Piccolo's. Piccolo's. That's it. Piccolo's in Mayfair. <laughs> And as he's paying, you wait till I start ordering. Well, we start off with a glass of Prosecco. I don't usually drink. But if I'm not driving, I'm going for a night out. I might have a little glass, one glass of wine. And then and then instead of going just for the main meal, we'll have the start of the main meal and a pudding as well. Thank you for... Mayfair, dear. It's going to cost him a fortune. I don't think he's got any idea how much that's going to cost him. <laughs> uh, sis, what are you trying on? Are you on your phone? Or your computer. Now, that's interesting because my friend Ray Reynolds says he has trouble getting the picture as well when we're on Facebook Live. So I don't know. Don't know why that is. Interesting. Right, I'm going to disappear now, boys and girls. OK. Uh, and I shall leave you with this theme music to every second counts. One of the best little theme musics I've ever heard. Um, oh, you're on your computer. Try it on your, um, on your iPhone, shall Try it on your iPhone and see if the picture appears on there. I bet it'll work on there. I, I, I'm not sure what's causing that. There are other people that, that... Actually, Ray Reynolds says he can't see it either. It, he doesn't get the picture. He only gets the sound. Try it on your iPhone, sis. All right. Let me play you the theme song to... Uh, theme tune to Every Second Counts, which was... Uh, 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 um, Paul Daniels' uh, quiz show. I think he did a few quizzes. This is one of them. I love this music. And you get the, the announcer on BBC One announce it as well. OK, here it comes. Here it comes. Rushing up their general knowledge, three more couples for whom time is of the essence. <laughs> Theme music to every second counts. I love that. And would you like to hear the theme song at the, at the end? It's slightly different. There's a lot of clapping and all that business. Um, but that's quite nice as well. OK, sis, so it's working on the iPhone, is it? I don't know what that is. I, I have a feeling it might be something to do with a flash update. Have a word with uh, with hubby about that one. OK, it might be a flash update. Have a listen to the bit at the end as well, because it's slightly different. Slightly different. All right. Just a second. They're telling them what the prizes are now. And, uh, and then I'll leave you alone. OK, I should disappear after this. There they are. Oh, you guys! It's a shame you can't see the picture. You'll just have to listen to the music. Here we go. Every second counts. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs> 
moment on BT One, Doc Martin's case book examines fear of the dentist. There we are. I shall leave you there. And the theme music to uh, uh, Every Second Counts as hosted by the great Paul Daniels. May you rest in peace and thanks for the entertainment. And thank you for watching this afternoon, boys and girls. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you on the next show. Cheerio now. Bye-bye.